In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily create a schematic symbol that will be used for a part within Polsonics. I'm going to create this Atomel memory device shown here in the library manager and also on the left hand side of the screen looking at the Atomel datasheet. To start, we'll click on the schematic symbols tab. If you wish to create this interactively, you can do this by clicking the new button, but we're going to use the wizard as it will guide us through all the steps needed to create a symbol. Now we are in the symbol wizard, we can click the first section which allows us to select the technology file we wish to use. Technology files provide you with consistency and for a much faster startup, as they contain all of your predefined item styles and colours. This technology file will also be the same when used in my schematic design, meaning all of my styles are always in sync. The next stage of the wizard allows me to define the type of symbol I wish to use. I'll be using a rectangular shape for this symbol, so I can select that and move to the next stage, which presents the Styles tab. In the Styles tab, I can select the style used for my pins, outlines and special pin markers. These are all predefined by the technology file I chose earlier, meaning my defaults that I always like to use for symbol creation have already been set up. Moving to the pins page, we can now configure the layout within the symbol. This is an 8 pin device, but I will be having two ungated pins for power and ground. These will be present within the part, but not displayed in the symbol. Therefore I will add three pins on either side. And you can do this by either clicking on the arrows, or by typing the desired number of pins. I will now show the pin numbers on the inside of the pins. And this leads me to see that my pin ordering is incorrect, so I'll need to change this by using the pin order. I will make my symbol slightly wider as it looks quite narrow. And now I can enable the logic name positions to be displayed. Now logic name positions carry some intelligence where those on the left hand side will be left hand justified and those on the right will be right hand justified. And these will be populated once the symbol is linked to the part within the library. Now we can save our symbol to the library. I always like to use the designator and part family when I'm naming my symbols, so this will be 824C. I will also check the Edit Symbol Now button, as this will allow me to add additional attributes to the symbol interactively. So we close this dialog. Now we're within the editor, you can move the symbol around and change its style if you need to. We can now add the attribute position for the manufacturer's part number and position this below the symbol. Once this is done, we can save this to our library and we can then view it within the library manager to see how it looks once a part has been associated to the symbol. And now we can see that the attributes and logic name positions have all been populated by the detail within the part. Information on how to do this is contained within the part creation video.